The man who works in Starbucks, who's sad all the time. You won't reply to him. Don't get lashes. Don't get those long nails. Keep your hair natural. Dress feminine. And wear a cardigan. Okay? Like, if you want to get... I'm just telling you. She's right. See, what women want to understand is, and what they need to make the decision, you only have two options when it comes to a guy. You're either a good girl or you're a fun girl. It used to be a time that fairy tales were true. Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notifications button so you can get the videos as soon as I put them out. If you're looking for the music to the intro and you want the link to the second channel, both are below in the description. But can you do me a favor? Hit the notifications button right now. All right, guys, I got about five videos for you today. The first video is going to be a judge giving a woman a child support note and her reaction is going to be priceless. This is going to be a video where the guy wins in court whenever it comes to child support. The reason for this video is to show you guys that there is a shift that's happening in life. The next video is going to be Andrew Tate breaking down why men are ignored way more than women and this is one that I want the women to pay attention to. Next video is going to be just purely things explaining why hot girls now are going to be miserable in the long run because women do not realize that their looks are going to fade out. So they live their life as if they're going to be pretty forever. And this is going to be another one that women need to pay attention to. Next video is going to be a woman. She's went viral a couple of times. It's called Real Feminist Fan. And what she's going to be telling women is she's going to be giving them some tips on what they should do in order to get a husband. And there is no fifth video. I have edited that out. So we're going to go to the first video where a woman gets a child support pending. Let's get to it. Yeah, you're really about to pay today because you know Medicaid has to be reimbursed to the state, right? Not it. Well, you are about to learn today, okay? Child support is $1,096, plus we need to reimburse that Medicaid, like I told you. So we take that $5,400, do 9% of that, that comes out to $486. $486 plus the $1,096, that bring your child support obligation to $1,582 per month. I'm sorry, you said $1,000 what? $1,582. Anything else? For two kids? Woo! You guys have to understand, women want an equal opportunity and women got equal opportunity. Now you're going to be treated just like a man. The judge is not going to have any sympathy for you as well because she understands the game that you are playing. See, what women have asked for they're getting it back in full fledge. Like for instance, they ask for men to treat them better. They ask for men to be more feminine. Where you got it, it's just that most of these guys now are weirdos that's a little bit too weak for you. And now you're running all over them because you don't have any man that can actually guide you because of how weak they are. Well, on the other end, you have women that understand what you're going through and you ask for equality and they're gonna give it to you. You want equal pay? You want everything equal as a man? Well, guess what? You can pay child support equal as well. Next video is going to be Andrew Tate breaking down how men are always ignored. Let's get to it. Starbucks, who's sad all the time. The man who works in Starbucks, who's sad all the time. You won't reply to him. Ne neither will any other female. So for women to come along and pretend they give a f about the fact that most men are basic, most men are basically invisible. There is not a female on the planet who's invisible today. You can be a four, overweight, fat, you'll still go to the club and get attention. 99% of the men go to the club and nobody even can talks to them. If they try and talk to a girl, they get blanked and ignored and told to Most men are absolutely not really invisible. Most men don't even exist. They send 10,000 DMs and never even get read, let alone replied to. If a guy who wanted to have days off all the time, he never would have gotten important enough in the first place to attract a woman like you. And that is the reality. As a man, it's player versus player. It's ultimately competitive. And as a man, you have to outcompete the other men who are prepared to get up and do it anyway. That's how it works. There's no such thing as saying, I'm sad, I need two weeks off. Not as a man if you want to be important. Maybe as a chick, you can always put more foundation on the hog. Yeah, great. Not as a man. If you want to be important as a man, you have shit to do. He's absolutely right. 
you have to have you have to make yourself somebody in order to be recognized as a man if you do not get out and make yourself a somebody you will be ignored in life that's what he's saying women only have to look pretty and everywhere they go men are gonna see them it's not like that with men you can go put on the flyest clothes walk down the street and nobody will notice you unless you are somebody the moral of the story here guys life is not easy for the person that don't believe that they have to work as hard life is easy for the person that accepts that life is a competitive game and it's going to boil down to the hardest workers and the smartest thinkers see you have a lot of smart people out here but they're so smart at understanding and they can recite big words to you they know a lot of definitions they could actually make you feel dumb when they're talking to you but they have no ambition to use their knowledge and a lot of people are like that. You're the smartest person in the world, but you have no ambition to use your knowledge to put yourself in a better place. So you remain ignored. Next video is gonna be just purely things that's gonna be breaking down what causes long-term misery in women. Let's get to it. In general. The point is if a woman doesn't prioritize a family, she ends yeah. up unhappy in the long-term yeah. in general. I thought. Like, like, because this is when you survey women, because it, it's it's all fun and games when you're still hot, right? And you still look good, right? And you still get attention from men, but at some point that goes away. Like, no guys are lining up to date fifty year olds. Yeah, we. And you're gonna live to be ninety. She's absolutely right. That's the part that women don't understand. Let me explain to you why women don't see this. It's because as long as there's somebody around to applaud, you would never know that you're doing anything wrong. So as long as a single woman can sit next to another single woman that sit next to another single woman and they all get around telling each other what they want to hear, then a woman won't realize that when she turns 50, she's not going to look the same. You know why? Because television has told them, hey, you could go get Botox. That'll throw you back five years. You can go get you can go get plastic surgery. That'll throw you back a couple years. You can go get booty shots. That'll throw you back a couple years. Or you could just go buy the entire slim body suits and that'll make you look attractive at least. But if you take a guy home and he sees that you're having a fake body, things are gonna change. See, there's so many things for women to give off the allure of beauty that she don't feel like she's going to get old. And the ones that do start getting older, a lot of these girls, when they go through the M phase and they're not gonna even be in the mood anymore, they'll just be dressing up just to get the attention of not even trying to get a man. That's what a lot of you guys have to understand. A lot of these girls would just look pretty just to get the attention, but they know that they're hiding things inside so they would never date you in the first place. That's another thing you guys have to understand. These women are going to end up with mentally ill men, weirdos, that when she go to break up with these guys, they're going to act just like a little kid. And it's going to be an immature way, but that's going to be the only type of guy that's going to have her believing that she's not aging. Next video is going to be the woman. She went viral a couple of times explaining to women about how she was married and why she loves being married. And then she went and started her own podcast, which is called Real Fem Spania. Real F, Real Feminine Span, something like that. Okay, in this video, she's going to be breaking down to women how to actually get a husband. Let's get to it. You're welcome. And look, women, if you're watching and you want to get married, at this point, I'm going to make some recommendations to you. And you don't have to believe me. That's fine. But I'm married and you're not. I'm not saying that this is the big, the biggest resume point, but like average looks, average looks. Okay. Don't get lashes. Don't get those long nails. Keep your hair natural, dress feminine and wear a cardigan. Okay. Like if you want to get, I'm just telling you, just, just watch what they're doing and then do the opposite. Like, is it going to kill you to wear a long dress with Birkenstocks? Are you going to die? You might end up married. She's right. See, what women want to understand is and what they need to make the decision. You only have two options when it comes to a guy. You're either a good girl or you're a fun girl. See, what you're doing is you guys are walking outside, giving off the appearance of a fun girl because fun girls get all the attention. But you want to be respected as a good girl by using the strategy of a fun girl. 
it doesn't work that way with men. See, as men start to gain success and they start to gain more money, and we're talking about a real man. We're not talking about the type of guy who grew up insecure his whole life. He got a little bit of money and all he wants to do is just have an ego. You'll see a lot of guys with short man syndrome that's doing that. No, we're talking about men that are comfortable with them. They're going to operate in an entire different distance. Why? Because little man syndrome guys, they're going to run out there and grab the biggest diva and the most beautiful girls and they're going to try to flaunt them off. That's just what they do. But a real man, a real man doesn't want you to be too attractive to where you have a lot of other guys that want you. So you have to be self-confident within yourself in order to walk around and do that. That's just like you catch a confident man. He doesn't feel like I need to go buy the Benz. I don't need to go buy the Bentley. I don't need to go buy those things because really it's just a car and I'm going to get sick of driving it and I'm not going to use all the features in the car. So you would notice that when men gain success, the first thing that they notice is that the rich are the rich are the rich people don't wear jewelry. They don't drive flashy cars. They don't take pictures and post them on Instagram. The ones that get a quick check do. So as a real man starts to understand exactly how the world works, he's going to become more conservative with the type of woman that he wants around him to be a role model for his child. He's not looking for someone for the streets. But the weak men that you've adapted your personality to that you've adapted your your ego to the guys that are in your dm you're counting them that's what keeps your ego going whenever you feel low all the guys in your dm you can go ahead and post a photo and the weirdos come running and you know they're weirdos i'm talking to the women right now you know the guys that want you are weirdos you know you're never gonna date them but as long as those weirdos are in the back of your head you're able to handle rejection from other guys if they don't want you because you still feel wanted. Well, at some point, you're going to end up with one of those weirdos. That's going to be the end game. And you're going to cheat on them. You're going to treat them bad. And when real men come around, you're going to be flirting with those real men in front of them. It's going to be the same thing over and over. If not, you're just going to be sad and alone. One thing that you won't find, ladies, you're not going to find this. You would never meet a 50 year old woman happily single showing off materialistic things. Most single 50 year old women, these are facts. They go and see a therapist to try to get over the bad mistakes they made thinking they were independent. Now, those are facts. This is Anthony Spade. Hopefully you guys got the message behind the video. Comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels. Hasta la vista.